Okay, so good to have you guys in this video. We're going to wrap up uh, this module, the control flow module, by answering the module four quiz. All right, so let's jump into the quiz. Okay, so the first question is how many lines would this code print? So we have uh, this code while false print looping from what we have learned so far. For as long as we have a loop that says while false, that loop will print nothing, okay? So it's not going to get into that loop because this is false, uh, nothing's going to happen. So zero lines of code will be printed. So check it out, boom, that's the correct answer. All right, let's continue to the next question. Fill in the blanks to break the infinite loop when the user enters a zero. So here we have while true, which is an infinite loop. And then X is given um, a value of input. So this is what we're going to get from the user, the input from the user, which is, which is going to be stored in this variable called X. So uh, for us to break out, we need to use the conditional statement. If X is equal to zero, uh, which the user enters, if the user enters a zero, then uh, we want to break out of this uh, loop. Check it out, boom, that's the correct answer. Uh, the next question, which is number three, fill in the blanks to take a number from input and output pass if it's greater than 70. So we want to get user input and then output pass if somebody has a mark that is over 70. So here first we have to convert the input into an integer. So we add int function here. And then here we use the if statement. So if grade is greater than 70, we want to print pass. Check it out. Boom, that's the correct answer. The next question, what's the output of this code? So we have uh, a variable i and variable x, both have values of zero. While i is less than four, of which zero is less than four, uh, so this uh, while loop will run. x plus equal to i, and then i uh, plus equal to one. So what's gonna happen is, this i will run from zero to three, okay? Because that's the, the maximum number that it can run to. It cannot go beyond three because when it gets to four, this becomes false, so it jumps out of the loop. So what's gonna happen is, we're going to add zero plus one, plus two, plus three. So what do we get? If we add zero plus one, plus two, that's three, plus another three, that's six, okay? So this is what's happening here, because i will be zero, and then i here we're gonna add one to i so i when i comes back it's gonna be one and then we add it to x of which x is going to be constant it's just a zero right so this i this x is going to be our value our previous value of i right so it's gonna start with a zero and then it's gonna get to one and then it's gonna get plus two and then plus three which is a six so if you come down here put a six down here check it out Boom, that's the correct answer. All right, the last question um, of this module is what will be the output of this code if the user enters nine as, out, as input, sorry. So here we have input, we convert that into an integer. So if X is greater than five, is nine greater than five? Yes, nine is greater than five. So we get into this block of code, this if else statement, which is nested within this, um, first if else statement or the outer if else statement all right so if x is less than eight is nine less than eight obviously not so it executes the else statement nested within this if statement so here is going to print x minus one so nine minus one is going to be eight obviously all right check it out boom that's the correct answer all right so um thank you guys in our next video um, or in our next lesson, we're going to start looking at what we call lists in Python. Okay, so I want to thank you for your time. I'll see you in our next lesson. For now, I'm out. Goodbye.